welcome back to my vlog. Uh, if you've been following the vlog at all, in my last video, I had to have the hydraulic lines replaced on the power steering on my RV. And uh, that all went well. And when I got back to the RV space, next day I noticed I had some something else dripping underneath the uh, RV. So uh, I went down and checked it out and uh, found out that it was uh, possibly a leak in the radiator. So I'm going to go outside and uh, show you where I think it is. So, uh, anyway, that's the new hydraulic lines that they replaced. Well, they placed all the lines in the uh, power steering system. Now, right down there, behind that, and here's some close-up pictures of that. the other side underneath that's where I noticed that I had some leaks so I took it over to Finley RV have them check it out they put it up on the rack and the guys discovered that uh, there was a hole in the radiator so now uh, today's Tuesday and uh, I'm heading back over to Finley RV to drop it off and they're going to replace the radiator and I'll get back with you on that taking all of this out and replacing the radiator which is behind everything there so uh, it's going to be a job and it may even take uh, more than one day so they're gonna call me later today to find out uh, where they're at on the uh, removal and installation of that radiator Okay, I'm here at the Westgate, and uh, I just talked to the guys over there at the RV repair place uh, at uh, Finley RV. And uh, the radiator that took a week and a half to get in was the wrong radiator. So they had to call the supplier, and overnight, 
the right radiator that I want you to know is that um, because I'm a poker player and I follow the troopers blog uh, or vlog rather um, he has uh, a contract with the Westgate and they have uh, specials uh, it's called the poker calendar so the poker calendar uh, from uh, trooper uh, here's a picture of it right here and he has special rates and it's uh, all inclusive on these prices uh, check them out at his site there's a link in the description below so I'll be spending the night here tonight and uh, show you a little bit of the rooms here at the Westgate Okay, here's an update. I just talked to uh, Finley RV and they will have the RV ready around noon tomorrow. So I'm getting ready to check in here at the Westgate uh, and stay here tonight uh, using the uh, Trooper promo again. And uh, so it works out pretty well. So I'll be going over here to check in. Now, while I was waiting for him to bring up the RV, I reached in my pocket and realized that my wallet was missing. It was gone. I was frantic. I didn't know what to do. I had my money in there, all of my documents, driver's license, uh, everything. Everything was in that wallet. I left as quick as I could, and while I was driving back to the Westgate to try to find my wallet, I started thinking about where was the last time I had used my wallet and as when I was making the reservation for the room that I was going to be staying in that night and she needed the number off of my player's card so I pulled out the player's card and read her the number I was on my Bluetooth at the time and after I finished reading her the number of the card and we concluded our transaction and she had reserved my room. I put the card back in my pocket and headed out of the slot area. Leaving my wallet behind. When I arrived back at the Westgate, my first thought was to check to see if it might still be sitting on the machine. I wasn't surprised to find out that of course it wasn't so the only thing I could think of then was to go talk to security in the sports book to see if possibly 
some honest person had turned in my wallet. I wasn't concerned so much about the money as I was about the documents that were in there. Those were hard to replace. Uh, I was able to track down the, uh, the person who found that wallet. It was an employee uh, slot tech and the slot tech found it and turned it into the security podium there in the sports book. And uh, when I went there and he asked me what my name was and I told him and he asked me what state the uh, driver's license was in, so I told him and uh, he handed over my wallet. All the money was in there and all my documents were in there so it was it was a uh, I, I tell you it was very very emotional to uh, to get all my stuff back so uh, I, I like I said I tracked down the uh, slot attendant and I rewarded him with a hundred dollars and he was very appreciative and I know he'll pass it on he seemed like that kind of a guy he's nice he was a young guy uh, and I really appreciate him being honest and turning in that wallet. That was my life was in that wallet.